when performing complex gestures or movements that require a specific form or technique, such as an exercise or in playing an instrument. We use resources such as visual diagrams or do-it-yourself videos to communicate concepts like posture, movement, and speed of motion. However, without incremental and real-time feedback, such as those we receive from an instructor, interpreting and following a set of movements can be a challenge. In this video, we introduce LightGuide, a system that explores a new approach to gesture guidance where we project visual hints in the form of digital light directly on a user's body. Our novel interaction techniques are focused on guiding a user's hand freely in midair. The visual hints are designed to incorporate both feedback and feedforward cues to help guide users through a range of movements. The cues provide users with co-located instruction for the movement along with the body part that is moving on the desired path. To showcase the capabilities of our system, we developed a series of visual hints. Here, we show the follow spot visual hint. As the user follows the white circle, the 1D arrow provides depth feedback to the user, which points away from the user to signal moving up, and points the arrow towards the user to signal moving down. The size of the arrow dictates the distance to the target depth position. Here, we show the hue cue which utilizes negative and positive spatial coloring to indicate direction in the horizontal XY plane. The feed forward component is conveyed in the positive coloring shown in blue and negative coloring for feedback shown in red. The user relies on the same 1D arrow for depth feedback in the middle of the hand. Here, we show a 3D pathlet where users are given a small segment of what's next in the movement ahead. The 3D pathlet denotes feed forward by showing users the path ahead in blue, while the red dot provides users with feedback to the relative position projected on the movement path. Here we show a simple 3D arrow which specifies a direct mapping to visualize direction. The 3D arrow allows users to see direction for all three X, Y, and Z dimensions in a single metaphor. Our proof of concept implementation consists of a single depth camera and projector. To display the visual hint, the prototype first identifies the user's arm by determining continuous regions along the depth image. We use a distance transform on the depth image to find maximas associated with the center of the hand and the arm. To extract the hand, the system traces along the continuous regions of the depth image and assumes a constant hand length from the extent of the arm. The associated maxima from the distance transform is assumed to be the center position of the hand. Our system allows us to use pre-recorded or system-generated 3D paths and can replay a visual hint so that it follows a movement automatically in space at any speed. In addition, users can also use a self-guided approach, where the system relies on the user to direct themselves through the movement. To evaluate the performance of our visual hints, we conducted a user study in which participants tried our hints on a variety of paths, such as a diagonal line back and forth, a square, a circle, an N, and a line plus a curve. To ensure that we adequately tested a variety of depth levels, we vary the paths at 0, 45, and 90 degrees, similarly to the circle shown here. We compared our visual hints to an animated video comprised of a 3D model of a hand that follows ideal system-generated paths. Importantly, the animated video allowed us to control the speed and timing of the replay movements. Our results suggest that participants can perform movements more accurately in both scale and shape, nearly 85% more accurately than when guided by video alone.